Hello and welcome to the Autoloons brand new YouTube channel and we are starting it off by playing some Gran Turismo Sport or GD Sport as some of you guys call it. Now this is the latest edition, uh, the latest version of the Gran Turismo games. We'll be doing a series which is dedicated exclusively to all the concept cars which are pretty much exclusive to this particular game, the Gran Turismo Sport. Now this is the first time I am playing any of the Gran Turismo game series uh, in terms of racing simulators. Uh, I'm mostly a Need for Speed guy. I used to play Forza Horizon. I have some experience playing uh, Forza Motorsport 3 as a racing sim, but this is the first time I'm playing a proper racing sim game, and I'll be using a standard PS4 controller. So don't expect too much. Uh, also, you can check out the review for Gran Turismo Sport on the website. The link is in the description below, the Autoloons or Autoloons.com. But right, let's get into it. All right, now first in the series for the concept cars in Gran Turismo Sport is the Honda Vision GT. Now, it's a car that I do not have in my garage yet, but we can check it out in Brand Central, which is the lobby-ish area for buying all the cars available in the game. So we just quickly move to the Honda dealership zone. As you can see, the uh, in all these manufacturer pages, cars that are specifically Gran Turismo concepts are, you know, are right are options that you can pick right next to the showroom cars that you can buy in game. Honda Sports Vision Gran Turismo uh, will cost you one million credits in game. Basic information that we have, since it is a virtual concept for now, there is no specifications on the dimensions of the car. What we do know, it is a 2-liter turbo engine. Uh, we are guessing 4 cylinders, but it does not specify. Which has been tuned to deliver a max power of 403 brake horsepower at 7600 RPM and a max torque of 40.8 kg FM. We can also get the information that this is a mid-engined rear-wheel drive sports car, two-seater sports car, which has very low weight, probably because it's made, it has a lot of carbon fiber panels, and that's why it's kept to just under 900 kilograms, which is quite an impressive, and makes for very good power-to-weight ratio. Now, when you are looking at cars to buy in the game, you get to preview them either in dynamic mode or static or studio mode in various colors. And if we go over here, we can get a little more detailed and thorough story and description of this concept car designed by Honda. And it does uh, inform us that the engine used is a 2 liter engine uh, L4 turbo with DOHC VTEC. So, yeah, it is a VTEC engine. Uh, and it'll have an 8-speed dual clutch transmission. In terms of looks, if the front is very aggressive and very NSX-like, which is definitely something I enjoy. Uh, along the sides, it's got a little more muscle to it, a little more aggressiveness, a little more aero, I think. <clears throat> I especially love this, the lines as they come over the roof line and down to the taper towards the rear with those two scoops with multiple fins and in, inlets in them and those single bar tail light, a nice touch. This car would look really amazing with a massive rear ring. I just know it in a group three category race car, that would be amazing. Honda has got some really nice looking concepts lately, especially when they're talking their electrical vehicle division, uh, the urban EV and the sports EV. Both of them unveiled at uh, recent motor shows, both of which you can find out, check out on the website, link in the description below. But yeah, this is definitely a good looking car. Let's get into actually driving this car. Now, in my case, I don't need to buy this car to drive it because there are certain uh, mission challenges where we have to race this car. So let's just go towards campaign, mission challenge. <clears throat> As you can tell, I've not really completed all the game's uh, non-multiplayer racing options. Uh, which are online. I've completed the I have completed the driving school series, which is uh, quite challenging and quite educational at the same time. The mission challenges are something else you can do 
uh, if you if you're not ready to compete online yet or if you're don't have a PlayStation Pro account PlayStation Plus account sorry you, that you need to play multiplayer games online so yeah in the missions series there is a particular challenge here you go where I have to drive this particular Honda Vision Sports Vision GT or Honda Sports VGT in race so let's see let's load this up and see what this car is like to drive all right and then we are loaded into the race now since we're gonna try out the car a bit I won't just be you know be focusing on trying to drive really well try and you know stay back and talk you through the car and tell you what it feels like to drive so let's get into this oh no we're starting with a rolling start and it is pretty quick it is already 142 miles per hour in fifth breaks really well it's a decent grip and with the rear wheel drive you can definitely power through and correct your line if you miss it just like there there is a noticeable lag thanks to the turbo before the power output comes to obviously traction control being on plays its part there as well and we're off you know let's just take this moment to kind of take a better look at this car on the inside it's got a very sporty formula one-esque steering wheel sorry i was but i took my eyes off the road for a second A uh, very minimalistic dashboard, as you can tell, and uh, oh, pretty hard to balance here. This is this is a passenger seat with what look like bucket racing seats. Uh, there's this is the view from through the back, so you can tell that rear view is quite restricted. Looking forward though, um, you know you can just take a look around. It's got decent visibility through the windshield. Your steering wheel is pretty, pretty friendly with some controls on the top. Not pretty well defined because it is, after all, a concept that Honda may or may not make later on. Uh, in terms of display, you have what's visible through, you know, to look behind you since there are no rear view mirrors. You have cameras which show you either side of your speedometer or what's coming on your right or your left. I'm heavily dependent on traction control for grip there, making sure I don't spin out. But it just has, if you put absolutes, oh, the okay, brakes maybe not the best yes, because, yeah. So if we just line it up and let it go, it's not the quickest to 60, but as you can tell. Once the turbo kicks in, it really goes through the gears. Grip is decent, not ideal, but decent. Alright, let's see what happens when we turn the traction control off.
that's all for the first episode folks. Thanks for watching. The next one will be up shortly and for more content visit autoloons.com. Link is in the description below and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Ciao.